making another build here. Uh, I chose Cetrion, and this is a mighty and a fire damage build. So we start off with free refill. Your offensive gauges refill 75% faster, 100% if you have a little four. Fire sale or cheap hit. Uh, your gauge costs get cut in half uh, for both. So cheap hit is the same thing as fire sale. You just lose a defensive gauge. Then we have extreme weather. Your fire ignition and ice freeze durations are increased by 100%. Requires a fire ignition or freeze uh, or ice freeze effect. Uh, then we have point of attack. Your physical attacks have a 40% chance to be mighty. Mighty attacks deal 20% more damage. Then we have armor clad. Depending on the level is how many uh, how many hits of armor you get. So if you have four, then you get four hits of armor. And if you have uh, three, then it'll be three hits of armor. Then we have defense uh, defense terrain. Increase the height of your natural barrier by 50%. That's her down back B. No, down back X move. Uh, then we have high and mighty. Mighty attacks deal 80% more damage, requires a physical might effect. Life stealer. Uh, life stealer is there just to get a little bit of health back when we're doing things. Uh, then we have playing with fire. Your fire attacks have a 60% chance to ignite. Ignition deals 5 fire damage per second. So this is the build right here. I go with uh, Geyser and Earthquake. Earthquake is a physical move, and most of the boulder moves are as well. Uh, and Geyser and uh, Deadly Winds is not. Geyser is actually water attribute, and Deadly Winds is actually a magic attribute. So I'll take this over to the co-op towers and show this off. I figured I'd make this because I've never mixed two elements together like that for a chaos build, so this will be the first. I'll probably be doing that for other videos too, mixing and matching element, uh, chaos elements together. So, all right, he's lit up. The body effect won't go off all the time, but I will show you right here. Most Some of her moves are physical. Some of her moves are... Even though this one is considered water, or ice, I mean, it still counts for that, because I think it, because of this part right here of it. Um, most of her moves, special moves, are fire attribute, but there are also some that are physical, which is good for the mighty effect. So, the ignition will be the one mainly going off, and then you'll see the, uh, the mighty effect trigger every once in a while. Oh man, am I using the right one actually? Hold on a minute, I need to check. Oh, I'm sorry, I was I was sh showing off the wrong one. All right, there we go. This is the one we need. As you can see right there, it just triggered. Another one right there. Even though that's an ice combo, it still triggers. Yep, I had the wrong build earlier. I apologize. So if you're good with Cetrion, I guess there you go. You get two elements. Guys, run real quick. Oh, right midair too. Oh. 
No, that's not me making it dark, by the way. That's his consumable. But even with it, though, I'm still able to do some stuff, even though I don't have uh, Ingrid repairs pairing with my... And you can see the, the Mighty Effect triggering. You can see that. So he's getting the Mighty Effect to trigger, and he's taking burn damage over time. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So the full string also counts as a combo towards the end. That's weird. Uh, so that would be the YXY combo. Interesting. Gotta finish it right. Got it. But yeah, that's the Cetrion Mighty Effect and Burn Damage build. So you have two effects that can trigger. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully. You know, you got the augments to make an interesting build like that. Well, thanks for watching, guys.